Hey guys, what's going on? Today, we're going to be talking about the Dragon Fist Explosion. If Goku doesn't, who will event? So, um, I was actually going to do this after I did the Tapion team building guide, um, but I decided to do the actual banner review because I figured the banner review is a little bit more important than the actual event review because the, event, the event's going to always come back and the banner is only going to be here once, though the cards will be around more often, but they're new cards. So, this is probably going to find you on Saturday morning. And that, yeah, it's probably going to find you Saturday morning. I don't know what else I'm going to be putting up, but I'm probably going to be doing some global stuff as well. And the LR Goku event will probably be on later on today, at least in terms of team building for him. Regardless, uh, let's go ahead and jump into this event. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, so that way you can get all the new content that I'm going to be releasing throughout the weekend. Um, I also plan on doing some live streaming tonight, so possibly, 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 and uh, just jump on. <laughs> anyway, so the event drops a, whole, a couple different characters, and you get some cool mission rewards as well. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Level 1, the Hero Tapion. Uh, now, he is available two different stages. You get a Dragonstone for each one. Uh, you get the actual physical Tapion, go up against him, and you get a whole bunch of actual training item drops. Kind of cool, kind of wet. I mean, you don't really need them. Just go through the event really quick and grind it out. Next one is level 2, Dazzling Monster. This is where you get the Intelligence Great Saiyan Man, or the Gohans. Now, you get 0 to 2 drops per run. Highly recommend grinding them out. Super Attack 10, all 4 dupe paths. You don't need to feed it into the dupe system, but I always recommend doing dupe paths just because you never know if they get a Doken Awakening if they become very, very good units. Personally, for a Mono Intelligence Hero Team, I don't think he ever will, but, you know, why the heck not? Plus the amount that you're going to have to grind it out regardless to uh, actually get uh, the Videls for the Videl Mission Rewards, uh, you're probably going to end up getting enough anyway, but if you don't, you never know. At least get him to Super Attack 10, because he's going to be cool for you to play unit. So he drops. Recommend grabbing them. Uh, the next one is level 3, Tired uh, tied Seedlings. This is where you get the Tapion Metals. Uh, zero, zero, well, 1 to 2 drops per run, it looks like. So it looks like it's a guaranteed drop. Um, no official information on that. That's just what I'm seeing over here. So you get the Tapion Metals here. Stage 4, Herudagon Reborn. You get 1 guaranteed Trunks drop, it looks like, per run on level 4. Again, no guarantee. I haven't run it. Stage 5, Sad Fate. It looks like you get guaranteed Trunks drops here. 1 to 2 of them. Now you can go ahead and grind them out. He also feeds into the other SR Trunks. Uh, the base form one, so you can go into that and grind it out for there. Uh, one to do drops, you can get it with the Super Attack 10, then he will Doken Wagon. Level 6, the Dragon Fist Explosion. It looks like you're getting one guaranteed Tapion Flute Drop per run as well. Um, this is what you're going to use to end your battle against Tapion on the Dokkan event. So you're gonna, you can go ahead and grind these out to make that event a little bit easier, so that way you can actually hit a Rudicon. Uh, you can only use it twice per battle, because you can only bring two items at a time. But you can go ahead and grind them out if you're looking to do so, if you're having a pain in the butt time trying to beat him. Additional information, level 5 Harutagon is able to dodge attacks. After 3 charges, the fight ends, even if you haven't defeated him. So, yeah, don't worry about it. Just do 3 charges and get the heck out of there. It shouldn't be too much. It's just, it is a pain in the butt because of the, the length of time it takes. Because it's literally 3 full rounds. <laughs> um, outside of that, mission rewards. Clear stage 2 on Z-Hard 1 time, 3 times 5, 8, 10, 13, 15, 18, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. You have to clear stage 2 40 times in order to get all the Videls. Now I recommend doing that. Go ahead, get your Videls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have what? Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, we only have 13 of them? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So 13 of them for all four dupe pads. I recommend doing it. Go ahead and just grind it out because it's going to be worth it. Uh, you're not, you don't have to feed any dupe system into her at all. If anything, maybe the, the bottom left dupe pads just to give her some defensive value if you want to. Outside of that, I don't really recommend doing it. She's not going to be a hard hitter. She's meant for defensive purposes. Clearing all stages on normal nets you all of these training items. Clearing all on Z hearts that gets you all of these Z swords. Using Tapion Flute item in battle, which you're probably going to want to do at least once uh, up against the actual Harutagon event, is going to get you three Dragon Stones, so that's going to be cool. Uh, clear Stage 6 on Z-Heart only using Super Attacks is going to clear give you two Tapion Flutes. Stage 6 without using Support items or Continues is also going to give you two Tapion Flutes. Max Super Attack level... Um, Pretty buddy, great same man too. If you get her super attack 10, it gives you the last one that is needed to get her to super attack 10. So go ahead and do that. I highly recommend doing it for the Videl. We're going to go ahead and talk about the cards right now as well. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into that. First one we're going to talk about is the actual Gohan, the Great Saiyan Man. Hot sense of mission, Great Saiyan Man. Leader ability is super type, attack plus 50% when HP is 50% or above. Kind of whack, really nothing else there. Uh, there are even OG cards from like first tier. Like if you remember the Bojax, like got similar leader ability, but it's strength type, not not like super type so he's not really a good leader super attack kamehameha causes supreme damage to the enemy and raises attack for three turns meh it's kind of all right but it's kind of whack it's free to play card so you can't get mad at a free to play card that does supreme damage and raises his own attack 
His passive skill, Battle of Justice, attack plus 40%, super type allies, attack plus 20%. So he's giving himself attack plus 60% um, right off the bat. Again, that's not horrible, and because he's giving super type allies attack plus 20%, he's actually going to be a pretty damn decent support unit if you're lacking support units on a super intelligence team, or a super team in general, but he's going to be a good <clears throat> support unit for that. Link skills are kind of whack. Z Fighters, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, Patrol, Hero, Justice, Signature, Pose. So of those, Notable is going to be Shocking Speed. Again, I know as I say this in a lot of videos, but Kamehameha is a flat-out boost, even though it's very common. It's only 2,500 attack buff. Z Fighters is a cool boost, but not a lot of people have it. Uh, but outside of that, the rest of them are kind of whack and only situational. Uh, he's part of the Hybrid Sane category, so you could run him there for support if you would like to, if you don't have anyone else. Uh, his max stats are going to be HP of 6800, attack of 7300, almost 74, and defense of 3900. If you feed into the dupe system, which I don't think anyone really would, is going to be max stats of HP of 8000, attack of 8500, and defense of 5100. Now you can if you want to. I'm not saying don't do it. Um, usually, I know some of you are all for giving free-to-play units some uh, the attack the, the stat buffs. It's really up to you on how you want to go do it. Personally, I wouldn't recommend it, but you could do it. His 12 key multiplier is also 140%. So honestly, he's a pretty good card. I mean, 140% uh, for a free-to-play unit is actually pretty awesome. And then he gives himself an attack buff of 40%, well, 60%, including the supers, so, uh, the super type allies, and he raises his own attack. So over time, after like three rounds, he's going to be doing some decent damage. Not like amazing damage, but I mean, think of it back in the day, attack plus 60% was actually really good. So, you know, just keep that into consideration. Um, outside of that, he's an overall good unit. I definitely recommend at least getting him up to super attack 10 um, if you don't plan on using him, just to keep him there because you never know when you're going to need him for a prime battle or any other type of event that requires free to play or low cost teams. Uh, next one we're going to talk about is going to be the Trunks, Committed Heroes Wish Trunks Kid. Um, he is going to have a leaderability of technique type, HP attack and defense plus 20%. His super attack causes supreme, I mean extreme damage to the enemy, shining sword attack. Passive skill is heroic encounter, attack plus 40% when performing a super attack. Rare chance for attack to become critical. That is awesome, I love that. Link skills are the Innocent, Money, 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 World Tournament Champion, Rival Duo, Royal Lineage, and Z Fighters. He's part of the hybrid uh, Saiyan category, and he has a max stats of HP of 5500, attack of 6700, and defense of 3200 with a small 12 key multiplier of 130%. Hidoken Awakens with 10 Tapion medals and 10 Trunks medals that you can get from this event. That's going to be level 3 and level 4. When Hidoken Awakens, Hidoken Awakens into this guy. Sword of Courage, Trunks Kid. His leader ability is tech type, HP attack and defense plus 40%. Still kind of whack, not really that useful. He does supreme damage now, so that's definitely awesome. He's also going to be pretty good because he does supreme damage. He's going to be cool on a free-to-play tech team. The tech team just keeps on getting really good characters. His passive skill attack plus 50% when performing a super attack. Medium chance for attack to become a critical hit. That's really awesome. Uh, I don't know exactly what the medium chance is. We'll look at the bottom once we're done to see if there's any calculations that have been done. His link skills are the Innocents, Money, 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 World Tournament Champion, Rival, Duo, Royal, Lineage, and Z Fighters. He's also part of this hybrid saying category. Now... Personally, I don't think that it's worth... He doesn't have good link skills. He's going to be cool for a free-to-play tech team, but that's about it. I don't see him being useful anywhere else. The fact that he does have a built-in crit is pretty awesome. Um, he is an SSR, so you could Z-Awaken him, and you could feed Dupaz into him if you wanted uh, to Doken Awaken four, uh, five of them uh, after you get him to Super Attack 10. Definitely possible. You can definitely get some more crits on him if you want to. I'm not saying it's a bad idea. It's not saying it's a good idea. You can do it if you would like to. That's going to give him... If you give him level 20 crit with his uh, uh, actual built-in crit, he's going to be getting a lot of crits off all that there is to it. Um, his max stats at Ultra Rare are HP of 6300, attack of 7800, and defense of 3700. If you give him dupe system, 7500 uh, HP, attack of 9000, and defense of 4900. And max dupe system is 9100, 1100 attack, and 6700 for defense. It has 12 key multiplier of 140%, and it does not look like anyone actually did the math to figure out what the medium chance is. Uh, for the attack to become critical. I'm assuming it's going to be like a 20% chance. I don't know, though. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what the actual chance is, if you guys happen to know. Overall, good unit. I definitely recommend getting him to at least Super Tech 10 and Doken Awakening him. If you want to get him available, to that way you can use him on Prime Battle on your Mono Tech team, feel free to do so. It's always good to have a really good Mono Free-to-Play team for any Prime Battle that comes up. Um, especially because he does crits means he's also going to be available to use against like intelligence events if you ever need that. Uh, but his passive skill really is kind of wacky. There's nothing else that really allows him to be used on new teams unless you're a brand new player. 
Uh, next one we're going to talk about is Pretty Buddy, Great Saiyan 2. So this is Waifu over here. Uh, leader ability is Peppy Gal's Key Category Plus 2. Uh, category Key Plus 2, HP and Attack Plus 30%. Eh, it's all right. Still, Khalifa is better than her in terms of a leader ability because she does key, uh, key plus two HP attack and defense plus I believe fifty percent. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Anyway, though, that she does have a decent leader ability, especially if you're newer. It's going to make it easier to take on that Master Roshi event, so that way you can kill him faster. It's not saying it's hard at all. I'm just saying with the units that you're using, none of them really have good attack buffs. Uh, his uh, her super attack is Justice Eagle causes supreme damage to the enemy and lowers attack, so she's debuffing the enemy on supers, which is awesome. Uh, and she's a physical unit, so if you happen to put a dupe system into her, she's going to be getting double attacks. And if she gets a double super, that means a double lower. Uh, her passive skill Protection of Justice, defense plus sixty percent, and super type Allies defense plus forty percent. So she's giving herself a defense plus a hundred percent right off the bat. She's going to be a really good defensive unit. So if you throw her onto a 120, the Tech Gotenks team, let's say you don't have units and you want to throw her on there so that way she can tank, she's going to tank so well, so well. Link skills are going to be in Fighter, Battlefield Diva, Patrol, Hero of Justice, Signature Pose. Now, it's actually funny because I don't remember, let me know down if you, uh, other than like a couple of the units that do like attack and defense, I don't know any units that actually do full-on defensive buff. Like, I know the Vegetas are kind of notorious for doing defensive increases like crazy, like 70%, 90% or something like that. But there's not that many units that actually do defensive buffs, buffs flat out, especially for um, as, a, as a support unit. So that's actually pretty awesome. I would like to see how well that works on a physical team because they are already very, very tanky as it is. Um, just to, just as a, as a uh, to try it out. I don't have a team on the JP side, so I can't do it. If when they come when this comes out to the global side, I'll definitely try it out to see how well it works. If any of you guys have tried it, let me know down in the comments below how well they tank when she's on the field. Anyway, link skills are Infighter, Battlefield, Diva, Patrol, Hero of Justice, and Signature pole, uh, Pose. Her category is Peppy Gals. Her max stats are HP of 8,500, attack of 6,700, defense of 3,794. Honestly, they made her a defensive unit. I feel like her defense should have been a little bit higher. Um, I guess it would have been kind of broken if they made it a little bit higher, especially for a free-to-play unit. Uh, though if they were kind of going with the whole tanking thing with her, so they should have probably made it at least 4,100 in my opinion. Max stats, um, max dupe system stats are uh, HP of 9780, attack of 79, actually almost 8000, and defense of 6000. Her max, max stats if you do all dupe system is going to be HP of 11800, attack of 9700, almost 9800, and defense of 6554. Uh, at that point, she's going to be tanking everything. She has a lowly 12 key multiplier of 135%. Overall, Meh, she's kind of a whack unit. She's really cool for taking hits and for um, you know buffing the team's defensive abilities and to buffing the enemy a little bit. But there's definitely other units you could do, and because the uh, physical team is already tanky, there's no real reason to actually run her. Uh, she's a free-to-play unit, so you, that's going to be really good for a, a free-to-play physical team. She, she may also come in handy if you're doing like this the Supreme Kai missions because she does have a low team cost. If you don't want to Z-Awaken her, uh, I'll keep her at a 13 cost. That way you can actually take on events. It'll make everyone tank a little bit better because it's really hard to get good leader abilities there. But overall, that's who that is. Those are the three units that we just went over. They're all available from the event. Um, this is DokkanBattleBuilder.com, by the way. I just wanted to talk about who they link very well with. Um, let me go ahead and just switch over here. So this is going to be the Trunks that we spoke about. He is... He doesn't link with anyone. This is three key links right over here. So I know you guys can't really see it on the screen. But he, yeah, this is everybody who he links with with three or more links. You throw that to two, then he links with everyone. Outside of that, he doesn't link with anyone. It's so freaking whack. He has no good link skills at all. He's just like kind of there for a mono technique team if you don't have anyone else. Uh, he's cool because of that built-in crit, like I said, but I don't think it's worth it, in my opinion. Next one's going to be the Great Saiyan Man, the Go Gohan's Great Saiyan Man. Now, he's cool. He does have some good linking buddies if you want to run them. I, again, he's not going to be a primary unit you're going to want to run, but he links with, obviously, the three Videls, the three Great Saiyan Man Videls, or Great Saiyan Man 2 as they're called. Uh, Topo he links with with three key links, and that is, let's go hit the translate button. Um, he links three with Topo for astound shocking speed, hero of justice, and this uh, striking pose, whatever the heck the pose, the pose thing is. So four key attack plus 25%, eh, kind of whack. And then the other ones, and it's all three key links, so all the other Gohans over here. So what is this? Kamehameha, shocking speed, hero of justice. Uh, Z Warrior, Kamehameha, shocking speed. Uh, this one is Kamehameha, shocking speed, hero of justice. And Z Warrior, Kamehameha, shocking speed. So that's really everything he's going to be linking with, and really not that great. He'll be a cool unit because, I mean, I guess he does the attack buffs for everyone, so if you have him off rotation just for the attack, because you don't have the attack, any type of other support unit, he's a really good free-to-play support unit, let me put it like that. Uh, that's all there is to it. Free-to-play support unit, he is pretty decent. Because he's intelligence, he doesn't really have any good linking buddies on a mono intelligence team. On a heroes team, I guess you could run any of those Gohans, because any of these Gohans are pretty damn decent units. Um, it's these guys over here. 
So I believe it's these two or one and these, yeah, it's, it's these two. So honestly, it's just going to come down to one of these two that you, he will link pretty decent with on a Heroes team um, or a Hybrid Saiyan team. They, these guys do work well on a Hybrid Saiyan team. So you can throw them like that. He could be your support unit on Hybrid Saiyan team, and then these two can link well together. Uh, three key links, not like not well, well, but decent enough. Um, I would say this guy is good for 15% attack buff, and the Great Saiyan Man one is what? 25% uh, attack buff. So honestly, this Great Saiyan Man over here, let's go ahead and clear the filter real quick. Uh, this one is probably going to be his best linking buddy because of three key links and then his one key link is 25% attack buff, which is Hero of Justice, which is really hard to come by. So he gets 2,500, 25%, and two key links. These are going to be really good, and he's honestly not a horrible unit. Um, but let's go on to the next one, last one, but at least we're going to talk about Videl. Uh, she doesn't really link well with anyone, um, <laughs> so that's about it. She links great with all the Saiyamans, and that's about it. You're really never going to run her at all. Uh, outside of maybe trying to see how she does well for allowing a, a mono physical team to tank or any type of team really to tank any type I believe it's a super type uh, units to t uh, tank so any type of super unit might be able to tank a little bit better with her on the team outside of that I don't really see her being too viable but anyway guys that's the event overview that's the card overview I hope that was helpful and informative thank you for joining me here today make sure to subscribe if you're new and stay tuned for the LR Goku event if I already haven't dropped it thank you guys have a great day peace